Dr. Gray's oldest daughter is one of your patients, correct? You've treated her through the years, which means you most likely had to sign off on the adoption. Why was it held up? Do you know? What did I do? Uh, unfortunately, those things always have delays. I, uh, I mean, I see it all the time. It wasn't because Dr. Gray was briefly fired from Gray Sloan? Did Dr. Gray's insubordinate behavior almost cost her her daughter's adoption, Dr. Karev? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't see how her family life is relevant here. She seems to be fairly cavalier about the law in both her professional and personal life, so I'd say it's relevant. In fact, she used her youngest daughter's identity to commit insurance fraud, Alan so. Brown, Farah Al-Azari, Deborah Green, and Sam Carter. Dr. Gray, we have your list of patient testimonies here. You don't need to repeat them. Those are the names of the spouses of every patient I've ever lost. I remember every single one of them. OK. Um, thank you for that. You don't get to sit up there and ask questions about my daughter. If you want to take my license and make sure I never see another patient again, then you do that. But you have absolutely no right to ever mention my daughter's name because you are the one who killed her father. You don't remember me. Meredith. But I remember you. As the coward who stood over my dying husband. You're gonna be fine the love of my life, and you didn't even attempt to do burr holes after he failed to get him a head CT. Burr holes! We don't have time for a CT. I was doing burr holes as an intern. That one night should have cost you your entire career. But instead, you're sitting up here judging me? You don't deserve to judge anyone. Your Honor, if we could um, just take a short recess to evaluate the situation and see if Dr. Gray's conflict of interest is my conflict of interest my medical license should not be in this man's hands okay, come he on. is no, dangerous okay, come on let's <gasps>